safety brief. Yo, welcome, welcome to your Friday safety brief. I'm JD. Hi, I'm Brandon. And this is our guest, Sydney. Uh, the producer the producer doesn't like to tell us when we're starting. Can normally, I do it now? Can I do it now? St- yeah, ready? One, two. Ah! <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Now it's a Friday. Cheers Woo! to Michael. Thank you. Uh, so welcome to the show, guys. This is the safety brief where we tell you... Um, the best advice we could give before going into the weekend. And we save the best advice is because we're giving you shitty advice from our, our experiences. So take it for what it is. Um, Brandon and I were just talking about surviving the weekend, surviving the weekend. Um, and Sydney, you just happen to be blonde. So I'm just going to go into that. Right. Let's like, go. First safety brief tip today is surviving the horror movie this weekend. Okay. So, and we have our horror movie, cast member expert here right? yeah. <laughs> like potential cast member star yeah. like you just happen to be blonde and when you watch these scary movies like it's always the hot blonde that dies first all right like if, if you ever see scream right like nev campbell answers the door and goes outside who is it who's that? oh my god don't fucking go outside and ask who it is and we live in texas we don't need to yeah. you know what you know what answers when someone knocks at the door yeah pretty much right come so, in Right, <laughs> we're all waiting for you. <laughs> so um, how, how would you? So someone's at the. I wanted to jump into it. Someone's okay, at the door. It. Let's put a little scenario. Someone's okay. at the door. Someone's at the door. First of all, if you don't see anything, don't open the door. I feel like every single one, it's the, it's the dumb blonde, right? right? They open the door wide up. They're standing there in pajamas. They're so confused. They don't see. Oh anything. my god, where'd they go? Who's out there? Exactly. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Usually leaves the door open, walks yeah. away c- to continue whatever she's doing. Can I play devil's advocate? If I was the killer, I'd be like, oh, she's fucking stupid. Yes. Right. 100%. <laughs> like, well, it's like, you think Ghostface was like, oh, I got her. Who, one, of the, one of the car insurance companies did like these commercials where it's like the kids getting chased by the serial killer. And they're like, oh, should we get in the running car? No, don't be crazy. Let's get in the the creepy shack with all the chainsaws. And like the serial killers in there just going like, what the fuck? Yeah. That's exactly what it's like. He's like that that fucking queen of hearts right now. That guy is like Kevin James. It's the Kevin James meme. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So, So don't do any of those things. None. None Don't be the dumb blonde. You can be the hot blonde. Don't be the dumb blonde. Yeah. There you go. Because there's blonde. usually two, right? There's like the hot one that's kind of stupid. And then there's the hot one that's kind of smart. And then you've got like. I don't know. See, I'm going to reference Scream again. Look at okay. look at uh, the first Scream, right? And then when Scary Movie parried it, you had the smart one and the hot one. And they both ended up gutted well, the, in the tree. Yeah. I mean, the kind one, of smart one lasted through the movies, at least. One lost an implant. Like, oh, that's man. right. Yeah. That's a real problem. Stab right in the tit. <laughs> like, it's a whole ass investment just robbed for me. <laughs> yeah. What a way to go. Can you die from that? Is it, uh, is, no. No. Maybe mentally. That Mental. would suck. That would suck. Like your could back you, pocket. Could, yeah. you ble- could you bleed out? Is that, was, is that considered a sucking chest one? Oh. If you, wow. it, it, let us know in the comments. So many comments mean. I want to make right now. And I just can't <laughs> keep it on the Grunt Style podcast. Hey, do you remember when we made that uh, the Halloween content last year? So we, we did this content where someone got shot. It was a sucking chest wound in the oh. hotel store, and we used gift cards to seal it up. Yes. Yeah. And the next guy, came, the next day, the guy who survived came to like buy a shirt, and when he went to pay, he just picked it up his bloody card. You can see the gift card. Boop. I remember worked. that. Yeah. Maybe it's a sucking chest wound is all. I'm Maybe. Saying. But. Uh, what I mean by horror movie weekend, like it's crazy out there. There's inflation. The uh, economy's trash. Economy, economy is trash. <laughs> the government's texting you. Yeah. Um, there's conspiracy theories behind. Aliens all are still a thing. Aliens are still a yeah. thing. Even more. Um, there's a thing called Swifties running oh, God. the country oh, right no. now. So like, can, like, can we pause on that real quick? That's safety tip too. Can I go on a rant? Ooh. Dan's not here to do a Dan rant. Is this a Swifty rant? Do it's a, a Swifty rant. rant. Oh shit! Oh, that's it's a Swifty good. rant. <laughs> Taylor Swift is ruining the last thing that we had left, which was football. Anytime, like if you watch the Chiefs game, what was it Sunday night? When you paused your DVR, it was like the little like heart. Did you see? Did you notice that? No. If you pause the game while you were watching it, the little pause symbol at the bottom of the screen was the little Taylor Swift like her signature yeah. heart. Travis I saw Kelsey that. He finds a space. For I the saw touchdown. that, and I was like, "All right, game <laughs> over." Like. All these NFL announcers have been waiting their whole lives for this. Like, 
anytime Kelsey does anything, they throw in a Taylor Swift reference. So we're in content, right? Oh, this he is, picked up 22 yards. This, this is, do you feel like we're all getting played? Yeah, 100%. Like this is this isn't like oh my god this is the cutest love story ever like this though this is a, there's black and white yeah. somewhere where this is written yeah and then the reason I say that is because you go on Netflix and all of a sudden Travis Kelsey has all these documentaries Taylor mm-hmm. Swift has all these documentaries and it just all happened to be available now I'm curious what the NFL's like financial standings were like before this all started is this just nothing more than a play to help them make it more always, money it, I mean obviously it, it is I feel like it t- totally could be yeah why so. Awesome. Because Taylor Swift has almost primarily all young women that promote her. So that's now benefiting the NFL. You know what pisses me off the most? Everything. Uh, yeah, I have, to get, I have to get that checked out. Um, is that when this is all over, after they make all this money from the NFL deal that they have with Travis Kelsey, they break up. She's going to drop another fucking platinum record oh, yeah, and sell sure. 100 million records of that. And then she's going to go right back to all these stadiums that she's been with for the NFL and she's going to sell them out for concerts. It's a Round fucking to- conspiracy it's theory, a- guys. It's a sire. Welcome to the show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for having me. I like the rants. Uh, I'm going to keep it going. It's Friday. It's it, two. Like, we'll be off of work here in like 10 minutes. Nice. Cool. And like I said, like, I've lost every single sports gambling bet that i've made since this taylor swift thing started and i think she's just bad luck for me i'm eating ramen for the rest of the month because i have gone mucho over bordeaux on my sports gambling and it's not paying off what what language is that that was uh that was the three weeks of spanish that i took in high school so so, so guys brandon's been living downtown for a year (laughs) yeah that is what you get downtown san antonio (laughs) that's the kind of spanish you get downtown san antonio i I live i live a block from the pearl okay (laughs) come on what are you gonna do right so safety tip two would be don't waste your money yeah don't sports gamble right now it's dangerous out there guys don't put your money against taylor swift yeah she's got oh any of the chiefs games i just don't touch them anymore I don't touch them. On, like, on, I know on, on my social media, I see more interest from females because that's what they want. The, it, on your timeline, is it full of females just all of a sudden showing interest? Do you give a shit? And Taylor Swift? Yeah. It's been like a yearly thing. That's why I kind of agree with what you said. What about do you mean it's a yearly a thing? Um, it's a when play she came play. out with her Eras tour, and uh-huh. now it's all into football. So now like the two are kind of meshing, and that's all that I see. She's a genius. Like We can't fight it. She's a genius. Lucrative. The fact that she now is taking her heiress tour and it's filmed and you can go watch it in a movie theater. Like, hey, too poor to come to my concert? Sucks that you're poor. Go watch it in a movie theater. And she's still making money off of this. It, it's disgusting. She's a genius. Damn. She's an evil genius. Can you imagine if, if our foundation had all that money? The amount of veterans well, we could help with that much money. The, and like, oh, that's kind of why I get frustrated at these celebrities because I'm like, Taylor Swift. You have the world's largest cult right now. What would happen if Taylor Swift just told everybody in her group, like, hey, don't pay your taxes? <laughs> Start a real movie. We can take yeah. down the government, man. <laughs> You're on the wrong side. <laughs> hey, Swifties, this is Taylor Swift. Don't pay your taxes this year. Like, come on. Or, or maybe like, hey, for the millions of young people watching, go register to vote. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get involved. Maybe sign up to defend your country. I don't yeah. know. Hey, go do community thing, service. At least, but no, yeah. right? So I don't mean to bring it down, but yeah, I guess safety tip two was safety don't tip. don't bet against yeah don't Taylor, bet Swift against Taylor Swift or you'll eat ramen noodles. <laughs> you eat ramen noodles for the rest of the month, and it is only what the sixth. <laughs> it's, it's only October sixth. You got a ways to go, dude. Yeah, well, that's gonna- why when you asked about the barbecue event we're doing tomorrow, I was so happy to jump on it because I'm like, oh man, like real food, free food. Yeah. yeah. So if you guys are in the, it's a good plug. Huh? Yeah, man. If you're in I'm the good. San Antonio area tomorrow. We'll be at Alamo Beer. That's here downtown, far- partying with the uh, San Antonio firefighters. They invited Brandon and I to be a uh, barbecue throwdown judges. I like to use the term celebrity judge. Celebrity judge too. Yeah. They oh, use the term celebrity. They, they use did, celebrity. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we cool. would be the celebrity. But we don't roll with just Brandon and I. Still so got it. Sydney's coming out. Yeah, I Sydney's going to be there. I'll we'll be, be out there. We got Janae. We got Josh, Texas Fire coming out. Yeah. Um, so if you're in the area, come hang out. Come eat some barbecue. We'll throw some ribs at you. We don't have to be the only celebrities at this. Safety tip number three. <laughs> if you're going to come out, don't overeat. <laughs> Because there's gonna be a lot of food there. I don't know, man. I'm I'm I'm, I'm one I'm one for the meat sweats. Yeah, I'm sure. ready for it. Like, are you a meat sweat? 
pray it. Do you know what that um, means? Yes. And I think it's because of my husband that I'm getting into it. I was like definitely a more like. Tell me more how your husband's girl. getting you meat sweats, please. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey. Bounce. Um, wow, yeah. wow. <laughs> he does look here now. Please no. wear a Kevlar if you're going out this weekend. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Wear a helmet. Wear a helmet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're attempting maybe the carnivore diet. Okay. Really different. So tomorrow might be our starting point. Can we talk about this? This show just got hijacked. I did carnivore for like three weeks. How was it? Fantastic. I really want to potentially start. The first week was really, really hard. After that, I felt great. I had a ton of energy. Like the meals were, were, it was no problem for me to not eat carbs and not eat anything other than just meat and animal products. Yeah. And then I traveled for three weeks straight and it all went downhill and I have not been able to get it kicking like to get get back onto it. Just got a meal can, you, can you get, can you explain what the carnivore diet is? So I'm still learning, but from my understanding, it's basically primarily meat is what you're eating. And the benefits behind it have proven to actually cure a lot of diseases that people don't really think they can get help from. Um, I have a disorder called endometriosis, which is actually like the opposite of that. So they tell you to stay away from red meat. They tell you to stay away from everything, but I kind of want to challenge it to see if that would benefit me too. <laughs> hey guys, Sydney's in the hospital. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how that works. Gout. But so, what is my understanding? Yeah, correct? and there's, there's variations of it. So like I did a lot of red meat um, and then like animal products. So dairy and eggs and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but you, st- I, I started just red meat and then I slowly started reintroducing other things into my diet, like eggs and cheese and stuff like that. And if you have like digestive issues, stomach issues, anything like that, mm-hmm. it, it takes care of all of that stuff. It was, it was wild. Can I ask so a question? So would you recommend the carnivore diet to be for the Swifty or for the serial killer who's killing? Who the serial to- killer needs a lot needs of energy. Di- He's the- chasing all those people. So if you're like Jason, Michael Myers, uh, any of these guys, Ghostface, I really think you should consider switching to an all meat carnivore diet. Lots of energy. You heard of also first, yeah. if you're killing these people you and you're okay with it, you have a ton of fresh meat. It's oh, we're going there. I went there. It's we're going there. Halloween. Like, dude, you you could have been Dahmer's like mentor. I could have been. And guess what? Yeah, the blood. Only. Keep it. Keep hey, it. he was here in San Antonio. All I needed to be do is like be born thirty years early. You know what's yeah, fucked up is you. Benefited from you. Yeah. You kind of have to thank him for his service. Yeah. Do you? They're separate. Well, look. Just because you're a veteran doesn't mean you're automatically not a piece of shit. <laughs> but does that make Dahmer a body stacker? Could there be a future VBT episode about Dahmer? <laughs> <laughs> more to come on that one i mean we'll have oh actually next week we have our uh jason Voorhees episode i'm just plugging in. things like crazy man yeah, plugging so these things in we had the opportunity to work with uh, cj graham shout out to our, our friend cj uh, he's the original jason from jason six so oh like, my god you think of all the famous jasons we had the famous one uh vietnam veteran in case you didn't know so um we, you know, we hit him up. Hey, let's make some content. Let's do some Halloween stuff. So we got a cool storyline where uh, Jason Voorhees is just a misunderstood better, uh, Vietnam veteran trying to protect his land from some horny ass kids. Who hasn't wow. been there? All right. So watch yeah. the movie with that perspective. And he's just a Vietnam it's totally veteran. Different. He's a victim. Misunderstood. He's, he's a, a victim. victim of society. He's a victim. <laughs> that makes me think. Did you actually know there's a lot of veterans that are now actors? Yes. That play yeah. in like kind yes. of weirdly similar similar yeah. roles. Look at a uh, uh, Adam Driver, the yeah. Star yeah. Wars franchise. Rob Riddle. Exactly. And Rob Riddle. Who one day you'll get on the show, Rob. Yeah, you know, we'll call you back. But yeah, um, we've just been really busy. Just been we know so you're busy. out there reaching out. <laughs> yeah. Stop really sliding into my DMs. <laughs> Jeez, he's really expensive. <laughs> well, Adam Driver probably is. Oh, they all are. But yeah. when, when we talk, like, we hear those big celebrities. Like, when we met CJ, CJ was like, oh, yeah, there's this guy. There's this special effects guy. There's this writer. All vets just out there still in the other than army or marine or military mm-hmm. lifestyle. Like, granted, he went into a, a, a franchise where he's killing people and has like 160 confirmed kills, probably more kills than he did in Vietnam. But Probably. I, But that's a cool thing to think of is, you know, sometimes we think of veterans and they're, you know, stuck in this kind of veteran culture. But there's a ton of veterans out there that are doing awesome stuff outside the veteran communities. We kind of see a lot more of it because of we work in the veteran community. But there's a ton of people out there that are veterans that are doing awesome stuff. And uh, 
So if you're deployed right now yeah. <laughs> and you're celebrating day. Red Friday like we are, perhaps you can join a horror franchise. Wow. Go Sydney. back to step one. Don't get killed. Get the, you didn't get the Red the Friday shirt. shirt. Why well, did not support the troops? <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. Wow. <laughs> you served in what branch again? <laughs> well, yeah, can you, for, for those who don't know, can you give a little backstory here? We got like maybe five minutes here. This isn't oh, sure. the last time you'll see Sydney. But. Yeah, I'll do a little quick. Um, I was in the Air Force for seven years, started as just normal security forces in the missile field. And then I deployed, came back, went canine, and then ended my career with canine for about three and a half years. Oh. Now I have my retired working dog at home chilling. Yeah. And if you visit American Grit, we were able to do a podcast together to yes. honor uh, canines and National Service Dog Month. Yeah. yeah. National right? Service Dog Month. Yeah. So please visit American Grit, look up Canine Tells, and uh, hear, hear more from Sydney there. You'll um, also see Sydney in a lot of our social media content that's coming out this month. Yeah. Yeah. We've been doing a lot. It's yeah, been did. fun. And tomorrow we get to uh, sweat on some meat. Oh, yeah. I don't like the way <laughs> you well, said you guys, get, you guys get to eat. I hope that I get to chill and eat a bit. But I will be handing out some shirts. Why can't you eat? I'm not one of the celebrity judges. Oh, I'm sure we can I'm gonna, there to rap. I'm going to have my kids. You go judge. Nobody wants to see me, me eat meat personally. <laughs> 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 Brandon's like, bullshit. Yes, I do. Those are the kind of things I, I dream about, JD. <laughs> yeah, and no, I can get up there. No one wants to see me. I'm going to get mine. There's 10 teams. If we're going around filming content, oh. I'm going to go. Before we even get to the competition, I would have already had everyone's. Do you film oh, content? You got to like mouth. pretend and then go back. I'm pretending shit. Round two. Like, I'm, I'm doing the pre-judging before the actual judging. There happens. you go. It's a celebrity perk that's not in the contract. So. Oh, okay. To those who serve, what are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, uh, speaking of supporting those who serve, you want to highlight that real quick? Jenny? Oh, yeah. that was a great plug. Now you're. Oh yeah. Where did you guys go? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's like we do this it's, often yeah. for a living or something. Yeah, it's like something professionals. Like <laughs> but support those who serve. If you visit uh, gruntstyle.com and look up the support those who, who serve section. That's a section. Well, this is our, our campaign that we're going to be speaking to for the rest of the year. And what that looks like is military personnel, whether you're active, retired. Uh, thinking about, no, well, no, I don't want to say thinking about joining. You should join. <laughs> uh, we have uh, firefighters, um, police, law enforcement, but everything down to dispatch, to EMS, to the support factors that actually take to run the country. There's far more than just military. You know, so if you're on our social medias, you know, look up minutes of service. That is a, a, a little social campaign we do to highlight individuals on the ground. Think of it like boots on the ground, but it's again, more than just veterans, police, firefighter, dispatch. So every Monday we'll be talking about support those who serve and we'll be supporting those who serve for as long as we can, because that's what we're here. Yeah, the first minute of service actually is up there. It came out Monday. It was uh, featuring Andy McLeod, yeah. EMS uh, paramedic guy. Mm -hmm. I got to ride along with him quite a bit. Super cool. Andy's a great dude. And so you're going to see a lot more of that coming out over the next couple of weeks. Yeah. So. Quick safety brief tip there. If you see lights coming, get the fuck out of the way. Yeah, move Please. over, move dude. Over. I could not believe how many people, the you know, the fire truck, the ambulance driving through with their lights going. And people just like fiddle fucking around. I'm like, dude, get the fuck out of the way. Or they just speed up and they're in the way. Even more. Get, move over. Move yeah. over. They if it was move. your mom bleeding out, yep. move the fuck over. That's what I was Don't say. be a douche. We responded to a fire and I wasn't even like worried about the fire. I was more worried about crossing the intersections because they would stop at the intersections and cars would keep going. So we're there at a light flashing and honking and everyone's just like, because it's Houston. Like, fuck Nobody me. cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. So if you see the lights, please get out of the way. Left, right, whichever, move the fuck out of the way. Um, so I think I think we covered a lot here. There's uh, how to survive a horror movie. Um, how don't not to stupid. don't bet against Taylor Swift. Don't bet against Taylor Swift. <laughs> uh, what was that third one? <laughs> we had a third one in there. Carnivore diet? Carnivore diet. Oh. And who should have it? The serial killers or the Swifties? There's one more thing serial we got to plug in real quick. Plug. Three L's. So if you guys are following the show, whenever we do get the chance to do it, Brandon's very big on the three L's. Before we go into our safety brief and end this on a high note, yeah, talk let's about get, the Let's get real low let's for Let's get real low first. Okay, guys. You're going out this weekend. Guys, gals, whatever. You're going out this weekend. When you're picking your targets that you're going to go to Friday night, Saturday night, you got to make sure you're looking for three things, right? The three L's. Liquor. You want to go somewhere with booze? Lots of it. Ladies. You got to go somewhere with ladies. Lots of it. Lots of it. Low standards. 
Because remember, you go, you find the ladies, you give them liquor, and you lower everyone's standards. Like the lowest. Yep. Targets of opportunity, guys. And don't be afraid to adjust fire. Yeah. yeah. Don't if it's not working out, out, shift. Shift, adjust. Yeah. Shift left. That's the front. Three L's. The three L's. Take them to heart. <laughs> like Let's take us into Sydney's like, you guys are fucking dirtbags. <laughs> Uh, let's, uh, let's do the uh, safety brief for the Fort Toe Salute. Fortos. All right, guys. If you do go out chasing the three L's this weekend, make sure you don't drink and drive. There's no excuse for it. If you're going out and you're going, you know you're going to be partying, which you are. Come on. Are. You got it in you. Uh, Uber, Lyft. If you do end up driving because you're stupid and you don't listen to what we say, hey, man, get a tow truck. They'll bring you and your car back for right around the same cost as a freaking cab. Do it. Yep. Uh, you've got this magic device in your pocket. You can use to call a friend, call a ride, get an Uber, get a Lyft. There's no excuse, man. It's expensive. If you want to throw 10 grand away, just give it to JD and I. We can put it to good use. I would love 10 grand. Yeah. <laughs> we were just having this conversation about 10 grand. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Different type There's so much we could do with it. Uh, so don't drink and drive. Go out with a good group of people. It's been a long week. It's been a stressful week. The world is crazy right now, and I feel like everyone's depressed and down. So go out, blow off some steam, but have a plan. Know what you're going to do. Know where you're going. And uh, third, don't start fights, but if you get in one, finish it and then run away quickly. And okay? if you lose, don't fucking come home. You got to know how to break <laughs> contact. <Okay? laughs> no, no, no. When the mission's done and when to uh, to break contact and escape. Are we talking about fights or one night stands? Both. Oh. Okay. Both. Both. Because like we said earlier, wear a helmet. Yeah, wear a helmet. Wear don't a send your troops out into combat without any protection. Okay. Yeah. We don't want it's to not expose, worth it. We don't want to expose gentlemen here. So, yeah. Uh, let's take this to our four toast salute. Four toast so, salute. I'll let Brandon lead. Just follow my lead. All right. Push your mic back. Down. Four toast salute, guys. To those who served. Cheers. Cheers. You guys, you got to open oxygen. So oh, okay. To those who supported us while we served, we couldn't have done it without you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> to those young bucks out there still carrying the torch of freedom to this day. Cheers. Cheers. And lastly, to our brothers and sisters that made the ultimate sacrifice, never made it home. We remember you. Cheers. Cheers. That's it. That's it, y'all. Let's so go we, get drunk. We, we started wrong. I guess Mike, end it whenever you need to, buddy. Cheers. Our communities depend on the bravery and commitment of our law enforcement, firefighters, and military personnel. They are more than a uniform. They are living, breathing Americans who answer the call to serve. At Gruntstyle, we proudly support all those who serve with real action through our community events, give back initiatives, and donations.